Oh, these are little ones. Oh, yeah. Don't get much bigger than that, does it? There's a bunch of them. So I have my little DOA shrimp and a smaller rod, but... laid up there. Oh, there he goes. He's gonna get eaten, I think. <laughs> get it? Missed it. No, he didn't. There's a fish, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Come on. Show me what you can do now. There he is. That's a good one to start off oh, with, Captain yeah. Travis. That's it. <laughs> well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We're fishing off the Space Coast today, and it's kind of right, right at the end of tarpon season, in the cobia season. Got my buddy Captain Travis Tanner with me, one of the top guides in this area. And we're going to be having some fun today, catching all sorts of stuff. Whatever's left. That's it. <laughs> that could be the name of the show. Whatever's left. Because <laughs> the cobia migration's done. The kingfish are just about getting done with. Dolphin are really done. Because it's about 2,000 degrees out here today. <laughs> That's why there's still a lot of tarpon around. What a pretty fish. Come on, baby. And for some reason, tarpon on the east coast I don't know what it is over here. They fight a lot harder than the ones on the west coast. They don't like to be caught. They just don't like it. And these are such pretty fish over here because all up and down the east coast here, they just don't get messed with that much. Not until, not until real recently when people start finding out about them. I guess they're going to really know about them now. Isn't it nice that he doesn't have to be between 18 and 27 inches, Blair? <laughs> <laughs> See, you ain't kidding. And he's not red. Yeah, that's right. For y'all that don't know, Travis was my partner in the redfish trails that we always fished around the states, and uh, I spent a lot more time with him than I did with my wife a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of years. That tarpon hook perfect, man. That laser sharp's right in the corner nice. of the mouth. Hopefully we'll get a little bigger one. Oh, that'd be nice. I don't know, these are good on a hot day like today. Oh, uh, that's true. Travis, I think this one is about done, brother. Yes, sir. I believe you're right. You got them cigar gloves on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sure do. Yeah, he's just a little one to start the day with. Got an 80 pound leader on there. Should be able to hold him. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Cool. You don't stick tags in them anymore. It's a little scraping deal. You scrape their cheek. Moat Marine sends these out to you and you take this little scrubby pad right here you scrape their cheek where it's silver and you put it in this little bottle of alcohol and send it to them you get kind of a guesstimate of what the fish is you know the size and whatnot scrape them like right there on the cheek you just give them a little scrape off the cheek till you get that silver on there stick it back in the tube and kind of a guesstimate of what that fish is. We go, for, what, about 35 pounds, 30 pounds? Yeah, 30 pounds. About 35 pounds. And we'll tag it, send it off, and uh, anybody catches this one again, it's DNA tracking, so there's no no tag left in that fish. Let me see if I can hold that for you. I'll get the hook out. I don't think it's small enough. If you want to hold them, Blair, I don't think he's going to rake you too bad. Yeah, one's this size. Tell me when you got him. Got him. All right. One's this size. Ain't too bad to hold up, you just don't want to go crazy with them, but always support that belly if you're going to hold any fish, especially ones like this. That is a pretty fish. Come on, baby. I think he's going to kick all right. Get on out of here. Off he goes. And that's how you do a tarpon on a nice hot day right off the Space Coast. Nice Kevin Travis there. Tanner. Appreciate you coming out with me now. Anytime, brother, anytime. It, it was tough to get him out here in this heat. Like I said, <laughs> it, it, it's right at the end of tarpon season, which is the end of cobia season, kingfish, everything's kind of winding down. So we're just about here to get anything we can get today. Anything's got a tail. And have some fun. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back 
right here from the Space Coast. Hope I'm not spraying y'all. <laughs> it's hot. We'll be right back with some more Dick the Fishing and Captain Travis Tanner. Let's go then. That was nice. Some <laughs> rolling behind us. And there's one just rolled right out here, Blair. Bunch of them. I don't know what it is, but these things, they're kind of like trout, man. They'll come up and roll for a long time, then they'll go down for 10 minutes, mm -hmm. come up and go crazy. And then, you yep. hook, then you stick a hook in one and they go eight nuts. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's try a blinder out here. I know they're around. There's oh, a tarpon baby right there. Sweet. How's that for a tarpon eat? <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> He's going ape nuts. Oh, dude, that was sick. <laughs> Back behind us, behind us, behind us, behind us. It's almost $25 fine. Woo! Now I know that one ain't a shark. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. That was class. That was a perfect take. Come on, baby! Yeah! <laughs> now they're getting bigger. Yep. I had somebody email me on the internet the other day. They were asking why I hold the line right here. And I do that to give it a little bit of extra drag. And the reason to give it a little bit of extra drag is because you always kind of want to have that varied. You see a lot of guys that'll thumb the spool or put their fingers on it a little bit to create a little more drag. I think I got him turned here, Trev. He's going that way. I might be able to get up back on the bow. Sweet. Keep leading him around that way. Oh, yeah, boy. I said, I thought I'd keep leading him around that way. Let me get on the bow and get it turned. Wow, there's just a school, a huge school right out there. Look at him rolling. My guy's getting right in that school, I think. Come on, baby. You know, there are so many different ways to catch tarpon. I know you know this, Travis, but I've said this on other shows and we've done them a bunch of different ways this year. Catching them on the beach, out deep, real shallow, live bait, artificial, fly rod. Yep. They're just a great fish to catch. And like I was saying, I wonder if it's if they were as easy to catch as sharks, if people would put a prize on them as much. <laughs> Probably not, you know, it's a good question. Like a Jack Cravel. Jack Cravel was a great fighting fish. Look at this fish. He's got me breathing heavy. Yes, he does. These new rods, you can put as much pressure as you want on these fish. As much as your line can take. And my fin's line can take it, brother. The dangerous part. Mm-hmm. The reason I say it's the dangerous part, you want to pull on them so hard when they're right there next to the boat just to get them to come in and one little flick of that tail can pop that line in a heartbeat. And I'm using heavy pound test on these fish right here just because there's so many sharks around right now. We want to get these fish into the boat and get them released as quick as possible. Nice, nice shotter. You might be able to grab that leader. I'm turning his head pretty good, Trav. Give me your mouth. Give it slack. Yeah, a little bit of slack. <laughs> oh, you wear them out good, Blair, but they still got some when they get to me. They're just strong. I wear them out. They're strong. They're wearing me out. All right, instead of tagging this one, let's go ahead and just let this one go. Okay. We got that storm coming up behind us. Get it out. That laser sharp, perfect, right? Oh, it is awesome. Just got that one little bit of skin. All right, let me get the trolling motor going. Hey, this is the Space Coast Weight Loss Program here. Come on. <laughs> Get some water going through this game here. He's jumpy. He's jumpy. Yeah, he's jumpy. Oh, oh man. There he goes. 
Hey, that one was ready. <laughs> I don't think you got all the goodie out of that one, brother. That was a good one, though, brother. Oh, dude. That was awesome, man. Hey, you go. We're going to see if we can get Travis hooked up with a fish here. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing and the uh, Space Coast Weight Loss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Space Coast Weight Loss Program. We'll be right back with some more dick fishing. Oh, man, that was talk, awesome. Dude. <laughs> Let's go, then. Fish. Fish on, baby. Yeah, come baby. On, come on, come on, come on. It's awesome. This is definitely the cure for the summertime blues. You can even go catch summertime blues right out there on the point. Travis, I believe this is going to be our pod right here. They are thick. It's black. They're up top. Come on up and catch a fish. I'm ready. Fish. Fish on, baby. Yeah, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Whatever it is, he don't know he's even hooked yet. Big jacks. Huh? They're big jacks. That ain't fighting like no jack yet. I just saw four or five of them get right by the boat. If this is a jack, he's a monster. Come on now. It's a mystery fish. Oh. You got one? Yeah. I thought this was a tarpon when I saw him come up. I thought mine was too. Well, sometimes they don't jump here. Need me to chase him? Nah. With the big motor? Nah, you're good. Well, what you got, Mr. Tanner? Well, no, man. I, I could have swore it was a tarpon when I saw it come up and flash on it. Was that him there in front of us? No. Nah. Was that another tarpon? That was another tarpon, dude. I guess it is a shark. Whatever it is, it don't want to show itself too good, does it? No, it don't. <laughs> well, how's he feel to you? Big. Big? <laughs> oh, he's big, dude. When I saw it come up, I was like, oh, man. That's looking rather large. It's a standoff. Yeah, I don't know what you want me to do with him. I don't know. I mean, I would have thought. I want you to catch him. Can't come up by now. Catch him? I ain't even moving him, dude. It's like I'm stuck on the bottom. What the heck is it? It's big. I don't know what it is. It's big. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the eight footer. Oh man, these rods are incredible, dude. They can. I've caught some huge fish on these eight footers. We've been out there on those tarpon pretty much all day long, and they just kind of shut down. We were waiting for them to come back up, and they just never did. So. Cruise down the beach looking for bait pods. And if y'all saw those big dark pods in the water, those are the bait pods we're fishing around. And, uh, oh, I just saw a tail. I couldn't see what it was. But uh, what those tarpon are doing in, later in the day or like right now is they get around these bait pods and they just hammer them and hammer them and hammer them. I'd just like to get a look at it. See what it is? Wait, it was huge when it came up. It looked pretty big. Oh, 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 what is it? Ah, I could just see the tail. Uh-oh, I think you were gonna see it. I guess it's, it's gotta be a shark, dude. 
Yep, it's a shark. It's a shark. I got my trusty little lasso here. We're gonna see if we can lasso a shark by the tail. You've heard of getting the bear by the tail. We're gonna see if we can get the toothy critter by the tail. Are you gonna fight him all day? I got, still, I got him on mono, dude. Is the man in the gray suit still a little green? Cause we gotta go pay uh, some tributes to some sponsors right here. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back and we're gonna land this thing on mono, maybe. We'll see. Let's go then. He's got a little red more on him. Oh, he didn't like that touching his tail, did he? On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm gonna show you what Captain Travis and I were out there using today. I was throwing the new offshore series rods and reels that uh, Wright McGill's coming out with this year. The flat's blue, they're just offshore now and a lot beefier. This is the 30 to 60 pound test model. Had the 7,000 Sabalos reel on there. And I was throwing 50 pound test wind tamer out there today just in case I got anything real big out there. Throwing circle hooks today and I had this one snelled onto the circle hook with the Seaguar fluorocarbon just because it gives it a lot better, I wanna say an angle as you're trying to get that hook set in the corner of their mouth. Basically just a simple rig to get out there and live bait with. Now Captain Travis, he liked throwing the light stuff. He was throwing the eight footer out there. He had it rigged up with 30 pound test and this is the XS. Happens to be the smoothest, most silkiest fins line that they make. Throwing the 4,000 size Sabalos reel and he had it rigged with a circle hook as well. And with the water clarity out there today, we were able to step our leader size up to 60 pound and 80 pound test because they couldn't see it. And with tarpon and sharks, you want the best leader material out there you can get. That's why we're throwing Seaguar. It's the best for abrasion resistant and definitely getting the job out there done. That's your bait check for today. If you ever get down to the Space Coast, make sure you remember one thing. Every fishing season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. Well, welcome back. He's still a little green. Man in the gray suit, still a little green. Yep. Come on now. I want to see if this thing will work. I'm giving that eight footer a workout. Yeah, he is. Hey man, they're fun on this kind of tackle. Let's see if I can point something out here to you guys. See, it looks like ink in the water out there. It looks like something in the Gulf that might have spilled a bunch of oil. That's all bait right there. That's exactly what you want to look for when you get out here searching the beach for these fish. You must have him right in the corner of the mouth because he is absolutely lasting on that leader. All right, Mr. Lasso. Need some weight on it. There you go. Oh, tail wrapping. You got him? I think I got me a shark. You got you a shark, boy. Oh, Lasso <laughs> works. <laughs> There's your shark landed, brother. No, unhook him. That's all right. <laughs> you have that Let's see, where's that D hooker? Hey, you can't hook one better than that. Perfect. That is the best hook tool in the world. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Black tip shark. Where's that a spinner shark? That would be a spinner shark. These are the ones you keep seeing all day long out there on these pods of glassmen as they come up and spin like crazy. <sighs> Toss this one back in though, brother. Here we go. Mad fin shark, baby. <laughs> and that's the way you do sharks and tarpon right here off the Space Coast in the summertime when everything else is gone. How's it, Travis, man? Thanks for hanging in there all day today. Y'all ever, ever get a chance to do this? Travis guides here, he guides in Mosquito Lagoon, Indian River. Y'all seen him on the show before, he can flat put you on the fish. Ever want to do it, don't forget about the website, addictedfishing.com. You can look him up and come do it. Till next week, we'll see you later. I'm beat. <laughs> Good job, man. Come on, Mr. Tarpon. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictedfishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. There's a tarpon baby right there. How's that for a tarpon eat? Come on, tarp. tarpon, Travis, you gonna hook one today? <laughs> no sharks today. No sharks today. There he goes. Oh, yes. That's a good one. God bless America.